General and I were married on the sixth day of January in the year of our Lord, 1759. He was young Colonel George Washington and I a young widow. We had all the neighbors come round and the house was filled with music and laughter. It had been a sad time as a widow, so that marked the beginning of happiness again. In Virginia, all your neighbors come, and when your neighbors come, you have a ball. It was the very finest day of all Christmas tide, called the Twelfth Night. There was much dancing. I had lavender dancing shoes, and you know the general still is the finest dancer. In Virginia, we say, if you're a good horseman, you'll be a good dancer. And I saved my wedding gown from that special day. It was made in London, as most of our clothes were in those old days. A gold gown, a fine brocade, and a white petticoat. And he had put aside then his military uniform from the war with the French, his Virginia blues, in favor of a suit of blue velvet with glass buttons. It went very well with his red hair and his blue eyes. Forty years have now passed since that day so long ago, though my memories are still clear. Yet I think that I never would have imagined on that day what our lives would bring us. Through it all, we have been, as he often calls us, worthy partners.